he was so good. You know, we had to double team him everywhere. He would have had 60. And when you do, with the amount of skill they have on the floor, it's what's going to happen. You know, so you can take things away. Double teaming that team is a lot different than tomorrow night's going to be the same thing. You're talking about a different level of roster talent. So, you know, you're not double teaming a guy that he's throwing it to a lot lesser players. He's throwing the ball to, you know, Kawhi and James and, you know, it's a great, great team. So it's, um, you know, it's kind of pick your poison. But just playing in our base wasn't, he was, you could tell right away, he was so ready when guys like that make their first three or four look out, you know. A lot of it was just simple, just shot making. Well, his shot making was, listen now, and Kawhi had some too, but Paul George, that, that look, I've been around, that was a great performance right there of shot making, yeah. Kind of going off of that, you said pick your poison. Norman Powell was always on that swing, swing pass there. As a coach, what are you looking for, and when do you make that decision, like, hey, we have to start blitzing this guy? Because if not, like you said, you might go to Well, I mean, the only thing I'd say is the blitz is what got us back in the game. I mean, it, it, it actually, I mean, until the very end, it's a little bit misleading 37 because, you know, we started fouling with like a minute 45 left, too. So he got some late, but I mean, we got back in the game by going to the double team against both James and Paul George. So, um, yeah, I mean, look, you've got a your basic choice is what can we live with, what can we take away? I mean, I'd rather take the ball out of Paul George's hands, James Harden's hands. Harden was crushing us early, too, in the high pick and roll. So, you know, we did change what they had to do. And, again, that's – Norman Powell's a really good offensive player, and, and you know, it's, it's what's going to happen. I asked Brandon this question, too. But how different is it when you're facing stars that – I guess there's uh, there's no wasted dribbles with Kawhi and Paul George. Does that make it harder to blitz them too, knowing that they're not kind of dribbling the air out of the ball sometimes? Um. Yeah, I would say it's more so they've been blitzed so much, right? And also, you know, their size. Yeah. You know, and they're both. I mean, Paul George is a great passer, and Kawhi is very good. So, um, you know, I mean, in terms of that, I mean, they ISO – 